Hello, and welcome to, Today in History, I'm your host, Abdalman El Dara, and I'm excited to take you on a journey through some of the most significant historical events that occurred on this day in history, so let's jump right in. On this day in 1452, Leonardo da Vinci, the renowned Italian artist and inventor, was born. Da Vinci's works, including The Mona Lisa and The Last Supper, are among the most famous and iconic pieces of art in the world. On April 15, 1912, the RMS Titanic, one of the largest and most luxurious ocean liners of its time, struck an iceberg and sank on its maiden voyage from Southampton, England, to New York City. Over 1,500 people lost their lives in the tragedy, making it one of the deadliest peacetime maritime disasters in history. On this day in 1947, Jackie Robinson became the first black player to play Major League Baseball when he made his debut for the Brooklyn Dodgers. Robinson's historic achievement paved the way for greater integration and equality in professional sports. On April 15, 2019, the iconic French landmark, the Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris, was severely damaged by a massive fire. The world watched in horror as the beloved Gothic structure burned, but thankfully, much of the cathedral was able to be salvaged and is now being restored. On April 15, 1989, 96 people were killed and hundreds more injured in a human crash at the Hillsborough Stadium in Sheffield, England, during an FA Cup semi-final match between Liverpool and Nottingham Forest. The tragedy led to significant changes in safety standards at sports events in the UK and around the world. On April 15, 1945, British troops liberated the Bergen-Belsen concentration camp in Germany. The camp had been used by the Nazis to imprison Jews, political dissidents, and others deemed undesirable by the regime. The liberation of Bergen-Belsen was a significant moment in the final stages of World War II and brought attention to the atrocities committed by the Nazi regime. On April 15, 1967, an estimated 180,000 people participated in a protest against the Vietnam War in San Francisco, California. The demonstration was one of the largest anti-war protests in American history and reflected growing public opposition to the conflict. On April 15, 2013, two bombs were detonated near the finish line of the Boston Marathon, killing three people and injuring more than 260 others. The attack, which was carried out by two brothers of Chechen descent, was the worst act of terrorism on U.S. soil since the September 11 attacks in 2001. The perpetrators were later identified and brought to justice, but the bombing left a lasting impact on the city of Boston and the wider United States. On April 15, 1955, American businessman Ray Kroc opened the first McDonald's franchise in De Plains, Illinois. This marked the beginning of a successful enterprise that would eventually become the world's largest fast food chain. On this day in 1986, a force of U.S. warplanes based in Britain bombed several sites in Libya, killing or wounding several of Muammar al-Qaddafi's children and narrowly missing Qaddafi himself. The bombing was in retaliation for an alleged terrorist attack on a Berlin nightclub that had killed two American servicemen and marked a significant escalation in tensions between the U.S. and Libya. That's it for today's episode of Today in History. I hope you enjoyed learning about these significant events that took place on this day throughout history. Join me again tomorrow for another exciting episode. Thanks for watching.